Food can double as medicine. It can even help us manage our stress level, which can take a heavy toll on our health if it is very high. Dietitian Ellie Miller with Naturally Nourished is here to talk about foods we need to include in our diet as well as share a particular recipe. Okay, talk about stress sure. and, and diet together. Okay. Well, stress can have a huge role on our blood sugar metabolism. When we're stressed, we haven't adapted to the fact that we're usually sedentary nowadays versus running from a, a cheetah or a tiger. And so we're usually in rush hour or on our computers. Um, and so our blood sugar surges. It actually inhibits our digestive abilities and can cause blood sugar crashes, which can lead to sugar cravings. Now, are there foods that will help us get through that. Absolutely. So when we look at foods, we want to look at foods that help to promote those feel-good neurotransmitters in the brain that reduce stress levels, also help to reduce anxiety and depression. So we look at things like my first grouping here is protein-containing foods. Mm -hmm. Protein-containing foods specifically like turkey, which has tryptophan. Tryptophan turns into serotonin, which feels Ah, feel good in the brain. And also the tyrosine, which is another amino acid, helps to turn into dopamine, which helps to keep us feeling good. Now, you have something in the plate that seems to be a combination of vegetable and protein. Yes, so these are going to be the collard wraps that I'm going to make up. I actually made them with kale and leafy greens. Um, the leafy greens, the avocado and the nuts and seeds are in our B vitamin family. Mm -hmm. Those B vitamins actually help as cofactors to activate the feel-good neurotransmitters in the brain. Also, I have a probiotic food, so I have a kefir and a kombucha. These are beverages which seal our gut, and they're like nature's antidepressants. 80% of our neurotransmitters are made in the gut. So really important that we have balanced digestion function to have a balanced brain capacity. Um, and then my last grouping is my omega-3 fatty acids in my wild salmon. Mm -hmm. And that's because the brain is predominantly made up of fat. So to throw some of them together, um, we have these wrap-ups, as you mentioned. Yes, they look delicious. They're great, yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like a sushi roll. You can use any leafy greens. So here's a lacinato kale leaf. Mm -hmm. You're just going to take like a rolling pin. I'm going to use my kombucha jar. And you're just going to roll over that stem to smash it, to flatten it out. Mm -hmm. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of hummus. So my hummus is going to be a nice spread. It's going to have some of the, made out of the chickpeas and the sesame seed, which has some of those B vitamins and minerals. Then I'm going to spread out some apple slices that I've chopped up, just to give us a little bit of that sweet tooth craving, and some turkey. And then roll it up tightly into kind of a sushi roll and chop it into those nice slices. That is really amazing. Yeah. So you're just going to cut off the tail mm -hmm. and then section it off into your pieces. And that is really yeah. amazing. Yeah. So it becomes a little snack, but a healthy snack that can relieve a little bit of stress. Absolutely, yes. Thank you. Sure. Ellie Miller. Thanks. <laughs> You're always here with some great ideas. <laughs> yeah. And we want to remind you that the recipe will be on HoustonTexasFood.com.